students, this whole case study, uh, uh, which I'm going to share with you, uh, is to make you understand how you know these various mock-up techniques uh, using different materials can actually you know give us a lot of creative insights, a lot of creative uh, you know uh, synergy for building uh, you know forms and you know functional uh, products. So here you know let me sort of uh, you know uh, take you through this journey of the spoon design uh, so we have uh, six students who work, uh, whose presentation i'm sort of sharing with you for example the first stage uh, in all these journey uh, was to basically you know uh, just start with creative ideation the, the whole idea was that your purpose was to design a spoon and you you don't even look at the function as of now but you you will start using creative analogies just to build because it's like an assignment we did and then you know of course after you build you do all those processes that i told you last time you know when you make a lot of ideas whatever comes to your mind you build whatever analogies you take you build you know or you could take an analogy of a bird feeding uh, its baby bird you can take an analogy of uh, you know uh, uh, indirect analogies which could be you know, what if I take inspiration from uh, my mobile phone and design a spoon? You know, it looks foxy, no? How can I use a mobile phone to design a spoon? So does anybody can help me there? I can mobile phone ka, uh, mobile phone ko consider karunga as a symbolic analogy to design a spoon. Maybe the way we hold the phone. Maybe the way we hold the phone. Good. I just take the holding aspect, yeah, wide. Very nice. You could take the technical aspect or you know i uh, you know like technical aspect of how you you know sort of uh, what how you interact with the mobile phone press no like for example uh, with the, you you use a thumb uh, to do an activity so can i use a thumb uh, to you know uh, press something where my spoon becomes more deep or more so i'm just trying to push uh, you know our mind into thinking various things so here because the assignment was like that we are you know trying to do all that but very good so like that, for example, you build a lot of ideas, uh, you cluster them and then look for function. And then, you know, you build products. So that was the you know whole journey uh, to exemplify uh, the issue of uh, creativity. And uh, uh, remember students, we have a lot of these courses. Now, form ka course, hota hai, to khali hum form ka sochte, manufacturing sochte. Agar materials ka course, hota hai, to we always think how this material should be used effectively. In fact, uh, you know, I've coined a new name uh, called the champion properties of material. champion property I should tell you this very good instance when I was in Hawkins, uh, I was telling the CEO that Hawkins ka cooker, stainless steel ka cooker, aluminium ke jaise kyun bana rahe ho? Now, students, aluminium cooker, you can see that you can see that spinning can see aluminium mein, because aluminium is a soft material. Usko aap spin karke guma sakte ho. Abhi stainless steel ko spin karne ke liye you need huge amount of force and the product becomes very expensive. Stainless cooker, stainless cookers are nearly one and a half times, uh, two times like more expensive than aluminium cookers. So then, but the biggest problem is uh, perception. People wanted cooker in the same size, I believe, in the same shape, I believe, because they're used to that shape. So that's the business angle, but a manufacturing angle looks very wrong. So it's it's very interesting, you know, uh, situations which keep coming to us. Saran get you know considered a spoon for a two to five year old child after this idea generation. Let me show you his uh, you know multiple ideas, very very interesting you know ideas, different shapes. So look at all the you know uh, shapes students. These shapes can be inspired by a car, inspired by a tube, uh, inspired by anything around you. Uh, it can be inspired by animals, whatever whatever. So context here is how would you go about the process step by step cluster formation. So now, isn't it interesting? So these are all the ideas. So how do you form clusters, uh, students? And why do you do? Why do you need to learn a systematic uh, idea generation? Uh, maybe because we are able to build on the ideas and add features when we go systematically. Build upon ideas. Very good answer. Why do you think we should have a systematic way of having a lot of ideas and then building into three concepts and choose fighting to choose one concept to take it to the market uh, then we can have uh, extreme ideas and uh, we can pick up something out of it it might not be possible but it can have some some point that uh, we can include in the uh, actual uh, design that we will take forward so if we that have a very good points so what happens is a lot of I when you put a lot of ideas together you don't miss any important feature into your final concept. A concept is an amalgamation of multiple ideas and solve 
एंड सोल्यूशन टू मल्टीपल प्रॉब्लम क्योंकि एक एक आपका प्रोडक्ट होता है उसके बहुत फंक्शन होते हैं जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल ये बॉटल है इसमें मुझे पीना भी पड़ता है पानी भरना भी पड़ता है टेबल पे भी रखना पड़ता है और वो यू नो कैप टाइट लीक भी नहीं होना थाउजेंड थिंग्स राइट फॉर कैप नॉट टू लीक आई नीड डिफरेंट डिजाइन फॉर टेबल टू ट्रेस्ट प्रॉपर आई नीड फॉर टू होल्ड बेटर आई नीड सो यू हैव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर ईच होल्डिंग के लिए आई कैन कम अप विथ टेन आइडियाज फॉर फॉर अ कैप आई कैन कम अप विद टेन आइडियाज for for the you know for the putting on the table so that stable i can come with two ladies are you following so a lot of each uh, you know product is a you know like combination of multiple you know requirements you know and these multiple requirements you come up with multiple ideas and you choose the best idea uh, of course you choose a cluster of ideas which will form for example if i'm looking at a carry on bottle fir my cluster will change the way of i cluster the ideas will change if i'm looking at a bottle for a table my cluster of ideas will change so depending upon your functional need then you build your clusters so you know that uh, you know we'll be you know showing you in detail over here so here we have these uh, cluster of ideas uh, and then once you decided here that i want to you know design for 2 to 3 year old you know it should be fun it should be movement it should be you know early with our children but then you know you got this age group fixed up so we can see that there are distinctly three different types of shapes so see what he, and there is no hard and fast rule in creativity you can have a different uh, you know clustering method you know, also and you know it will give you very very good results in cluster 1 wherever the handles were you know slender the spouts were wide he picked them formally he made cluster 1 you know uh, with these type of wider spout and you know handle and cluster 2 for example you can see how they are they got a you know very very funky handle and you know there's interesting details and you know is a very handle oriented uh, you know Uh, designs and of course uh, you know the three uh, don't sit any of them they both have spouts and some interesting handle so they are both best of both worlds so you give it into cluster 3 so now how do you sort of take these clusters forward let us see so out of this for example for each of the cluster you take one representative which is a very close representative of your requirement you know a spoon for a children you know, two to three year old children and once you take that uh, you know representative which is wide spout and you know very nice wide handle uh, you actually fit in all the features of the other uh, uh, you know uh, other details of the cluster uh, look at all the other uh, other cluster details 1 2 3 4 4 just imagine if you can put in all these things uh, not directly but analogically also analogy means jaise maine abhi wo bola tha na aapko if i consider uh, alligator teeth i can you know i don't need to put exactly the alligator teeth but i can give that you know rough texture over there so that it look, it, it grips better but here when i say analogical for example if the handle and spout uh, is wide you know i can i can just turn this spoon into a wider spout spoon i can add a triangular feature into let us see how the how it has been done so when i add each of those features you know into it uh, you know see how the uh, you know representative uh, has changed the representative has got a handle which is bent uh, it's got a spout which is got a little opening because there's there's a flat opening on the side for one of your earlier designs so you you know um, change the uh, uh, idea you you grow the idea and i believe this is not possible automatically in the mind this is possible only when you externalize your thought process by sketching and of course this becomes the concept one so then we come to concept two where this becomes the representative the triangular handle one and you have to add all that other feature that hole to hold your thumb uh, that clamp the clamp means to you know grip better uh, you know that bend which is coming in so you know and this is the way the you know uh, idea was grown into a concept and then when you grow the idea into a concept this is what became the concept two and of course from here we have the you know representative Uh, one of them forming the representative you you know add all the ideas to it and you make concept 3 so you choose out of these three depending upon your brief you know you consider which one would you like to take it forward as the best uh, you know uh, uh, representation of all the you know all the functions or all the requirements of the spoon like it should be playful it should be easy to use it should be easy to grip you know all those things which uh, a you know 3 year old uh, you know would like to like to have and here still you know, students we're not still doing any survey or any discussion on in, on, on any internet so we just you know this is just an assignment to build ideas to concepts and you know mockups and then here comes the interesting journey now 
what we did is remember the strange familiar familiar strange but now we are also adding materials we said we will build these spoons with wire we will build these spoons with flat paper and flat metal just see how the things change how the profiles change and a lot of it happens because when you're doing it is you know for visually also it, it works for us to understand but when you're doing it yourself you realize a lot of aspects of when it's a fold how can i stiffen it how can i make this groove in the middle so that it's stiff you know how can i make the spout so that it's easy uh, to handle so you know things like that will come and of course when you make it in uh, you know like a, a solid form you know what would you get you know so and then you are doing an acting you're you know playing you're you know working with it you're holding it so all these things are happening and that will you know give you of course and similarly it is done for all the other uh, you know ideas too and then here your uh, students remember you must have done a form course sometime where you had this planar uh, you know like a uh, planar solid forms planar forms and wire forms see all the three now are implemented in your form development for your school and the creativity is phenomenal when you do that and of course the wire model so when you do, when you do the wire model cognitively you're looking at you know how the rings will come how the you know like how the rings will be attached to the wires joining the surfaces so all that would be you know big uh, using that and when you do a solid 3d foam models you will get this done and of course you enact you play you do drama to check out how things move and then you know you sketch out the details you do the representation of these details using mock up models and you know uh, of course uh, you check up two three variations of the selected concept this is selected as a concept so they make variations of this concept uh, try to do further refinement if it can be simplified you know like finally it was you know considered to use it in the you know like a form rather than one whole form and you know like a, this was selected of course you bring in all the details of manufacturing materials you know what will be done uh, you know how will it be you know manufactured uh, and of course what type of tooling cost will come in all those are considered and then of course you have your final uh, you know working prototype uh, to see how the spoon works and how the spoon you know feels so this is you know uh, just i want to share with you uh, the you know, journey of this spoon there, there there are other you know like interesting uh, you know spoons also so maybe i will you know quickly show you that before i leave you uh, with your own development of these two creative techniques of uh, mock ups using a lot of paper you know 3d surfaces and planar surfaces to build your models and of course you know analogies from the earlier study we have the soup spoon uh, the clusters coming in like this you know different different uh, you know uh, radical spoons in cluster one and this becomes a cluster representative and you know there's a concept one similarly you have the thin handle spoons as cluster two then he built this you know uh, as his you know final concept and uh, this is an interesting concept where you know people used to drink it from the back also you know the spoon uh, he built that later on and uh, the candle spoon again and the exploratory models are a must to build all the things and the exploratory models can be pretty rough because they are just getting your uh, cognitive and your you know, uh, visual thing correct and uh, of course uh, find the selected one concept and uh, you know, took it forward and this is the final you know, prototype he built and could rest on the you know soup uh, bowl and you know uh, uh, it can be used to drink from the back also if some kid is going to play with it so he made a nice groove at the back so it can cool the soup and you know uh, drink rivers or each children like to do that a lot uh, he didn't say children's uh, soup spoon but he just called it a spoon soup spoon i may work on a spoon for the elderly so here i'll rush uh, to just show you the images all the explorations are not uh, you know like uh, uh, they can be very rough but exploration is very important look at the exploration and why are not interesting this interesting uh, topic this uh, nagsen took this interesting topic of using the gujarati weddings they have something called a tasting spoon and you know that bridal spoon has to be very elaborate because it's a procedure like the 
a bridegroom's side goes and tastes the food. So what type of spoon that should be, you know, like, uh, so he uh, tried a lot of options and, you know, like, uh, finally you'll see, you know, uh, uh, he built a very good, uh, because of, you know, this uh, enacting uh, and the feeling of pride or feeling of a ceremony, you know, uh, 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 the, the, the spoon was uh, pretty well uh, designed. And this is the third the cluster representative. So it can be worn on the hand and gone, and it's got a value proposition there. And all the exploratory models. And finally, you know, this is selected as the main one because it's an event and you have to have the importance and holding. Uh, and of course, uh, the, the spout is pretty small because you don't need that big thing for tasting. And you know, how would you use it? How would you feel it? And does it give you that type of importance? So all that, you know, also comes in uh, this detail and finally you get a prototype of it. Darshan was interested in a traveling spoon. Uh, and again, very interesting topics. I will, uh, you know, rush over here because a similar phenomenon, multiple ideas, build, uh, you know, build uh, mock-ups and uh, build cluster representatives, sorry. First you build your cluster representatives. Then after representatives, you build these multiple mock-ups using three different materials, very interesting wire, you know, uh, paper and uh, thermocol, so solids, planars and uh, wires, uh, you know, like uh, lines. So with that, you, you know, build and see how things happen, take it forward and, you know, uh, enacting is very important, though it doesn't work. So this is the final spoon which came in. So that, that, that space in the middle gave very good protection for holding. The finger goes inside and really locks when you're traveling and for traveling the side, uh, you know, so that the food doesn't fall off. There's a side rim, which was very important. Uh, and maybe this is what came up as his final prototype. Uh, and um, I think uh, Johan had pets. So he liked to make a you know, spoon for a pet. Uh, let me quickly go and show you the final option here. Same pattern, same detailing, same options, wide mouth. I really don't know how. See, again, very interesting thing is we're not checking out whether it will work well or not. We just still, you know, seeing from our perception the how the, you know, spoon is a very short handle and, you know, like good spout. And I don't know whether it's really you know, good for a pet, but you know, that was not the requirement here. The requirement was to come up with a very, you know, new spoon, which could be very different. But of course, that's what happens in courses where, you know, if you're built on creativity, what are, what are your outcomes? And of course, people can get inspired and do multiple things out of this. And some more spoons, uh, this is, uh, you know, I think spoon for, uh, you know, measuring, spoon for semi-liquid food. Then we have the spoon for having tea and coffee. This, this, this spoon sits on the, you know, on the mug uh, vertically. So very nice uh, design again. Then we had spoon for long jars. So you press that and the, you know, spout comes up. If you have to pick a pickle from a deep bottle, you know, you put it in and then you press, then the you know, spout comes up. Very, I think, uh, very nice idea here. And uh, spoon for rasgulla as a celebration. Spoon for another spoon for kids with good, uh, you know, handle and uh, uh, spout. And of course, all the spoons uh, in one place. So, so I'll just show you this, you know, direction to emphasize uh, the mock up uh, models for creativity. It could play a very, very vital role. It could be in wire, paper, or, uh, you know, uh, in 3D forms. Uh, you could really come up with very, very different and very, very useful, you know, ideas and concepts. and you know, final designs. Today, we discussed two important things. One is using synactics uh, to come up with, uh, you know, uh, wonderful different and new ideas. Uh, and the other one is to use mock-up modeling uh, as a very important tool to come up with, uh, you know, good uh, form building. Mm -hmm.